State 26 new study says millions of seniors and people with disabilities who are at a higher risk for complications from COVID-19 are going to face increased exposure. And joining us to tell us about some of the steps that we can take to keep everyone safe is the care coach, Maura Horton. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Oh, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. So tell us a little bit more, you know, in depth about this study as far as like how many people are at risk and why. Right, so the Kaiser Foundation put out a study that 3.3 million seniors are living now in a multi-generational home where people have either come to live with them because of COVID or it, financial situations, but that puts so many more people at risk when you have multi-generational kids going back to school and at-risk people at home with them. Absolutely. So maybe let's talk about some of the steps that families can take to help make sure that we keep our seniors safe. Yeah, first and foremost, every family has to make their own decision as to whether their plan, what their plan is. And they need to have an, an emergency plan if someone does test positive. But some of the safe precautions that you can do in the meantime are, as funny as it sounds, still wear a mask within your own home if that's something you really feel like is a great precaution for you and your family. Um, having separate meal times is another thing that you can do. Uh, social distancing within your car, your automobile, or designating one car for um, your older loved ones or persons with disability and a second one if you have two car family um, from taking kids back and forth to school. So there are many things we can do. It's just still social distancing or keeping um, a safe watch within your own home. Yeah, it probably goes too for maybe families that have siblings who uh, are a little bit more at risk as well if they have certain uh, disabilities or sicknesses, uh, you know, some other things too if, uh, about keeping just social distance in there as well probably, right? Yeah, I mean, you can always ask your pediatrician as well, you know, especially if you have a complicated health history in your family home, um, what, you know, their recommendations are. So the CDC will have their own guidelines and school districts and states will have their own guidelines. But what's really important is the relationship you have with your doctors or physicians or pediatricians with that know your actual current situation. Absolutely. And if people are seeking further information on this and maybe want to reach out to you, how can they do that? Sure, they can reach us at juniperunlimited.com. Um, you'll click on the care caregiving tab and you can find us, ask questions or see advice and guidelines there. All right. We certainly do appreciate it. Thank you for your time today, Maura.